It could take millions of college students a lot longer to pay off their student loans if a deal isn't reached in Congress by July 1st. The Senate voted down two competing bills that would avoid a doubling of interest rates on federal college loans for more than 7 million students. It's a possibility that has local colleges worried. YNN's Casey Bornick joins us now from RIT with more about that. Yeah, Christina, it's commencement weekend here at RIT, and thousands of graduating seniors are breathing a sigh of relief, not just because they're finally getting their degrees, but because this debate in Washington over student loans won't directly impact them. I am very excited. <laughs> In two weeks, RIT too. grad Ashley Amadon will be moving to Florida to start a new job at Disney World now, with two student loans. I, oh, it's going to be a challenge to pay them back. She could use the paycheck. I would like to pay my loans off within the grace period that they give me, which is six to nine months. But if the rates were doubled, I don't know if I could do that. Ashley doesn't have to worry. The interest rate on her Stafford loan won't change. The A's are 34, the nays are 62. But if a stalemate in the U.S. Senate isn't broken, 7.4 million undergraduates with federally subsidized loans will see interest rates go up from 3.4 percent to 6.8 percent. Well, I think we simply can't add another thousand dollars a year to the average loan payment for our graduating students. RIT President Bill Dessler is calling on Congress to reach an agreement. Both sides are in favor of paying the six billion dollar tab to keep the rates down but there's strong disagreement on how to do so. The bill does not pass. Senate Republicans want to take the funding out of part of the president's health care reform law. Democrats want to eliminate certain tax breaks for small business owners. Dessler is confident that in an election year, both sides have too much to lose. And neither of them want to be blamed for what will happen if they don't do it. It would just create too much of a hardship and people wouldn't go to college. Ashley's mom says paying off these loans at the current rate is challenging enough. Doubling them would be too much. You've got to give students a chance and we have to stay advanced in our education in America or we're just going to fall behind. Now there's one more option here. Congress could simply agree to add that $6 billion needed to keep the interest rates down onto the national debt. But as we mentioned before, it is an election year and that could be a politically risky move. So many find that unlikely. Christina? Yes, yeah, such a big issue. So many parents and students out there having to think about this when thinking about where and when to go to college. All right, Casey Bordick reporting for us from RIT. Thanks, Casey.